Thomas Rolder claims he was hired to take photos for a 75th birthday celebration, but was told to leave before the party was over. Dina Minden says the plaintiff showed too much skin, offending her guests and the venue. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. Thank you, Sean. Good day, everyone. Good, Good day. day. This is the case of Rolder versus Minden. Mr. Rolder, you are suing Ms. Minden for $1,500 for unpaid photography services. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And Ms. Minden, you say that uh, he was asked to leave before he completed the job. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. What happened, Mr. Rolder? Your Honor, I showed up to this uh, event very uh, cordial, like I do all my events. You and were hired by Ms. Minden? I was hired by Ms. Minden. For photography services? Yes, video and photo photography. Video and photography. Yes, How long Honor. have you been in this business? I've been in this business a little over 10 years now. All right, so you've been in there for a while, and you were hired to do an event? Yes. What kind of event? It was her mother's 75th birthday party. All right, and the location was It where? was at a country club. Okay, at a country club. And she called you? How did she find you? She found me on the internet. I'm pretty sought after uh, when it comes to Tampa photographers. Okay, Ms. Minden, you saw him on the internet or you had a referral? I did. I did an internet search. I wanted to find the best videographer and photographer because this is an important moment, right? All right. And you saw some of his portfolio, some of his work. You liked it? I did. I went to his website and he, it looked like he could do an incredible job. Called him, set it up? Yep. Hired? Yes. Anyone bring the contract? I do. I have May evidence May I see it, here. please? Thank you. So you enter into a contract. What was required? Uh, that I would pay him $2,000, and then there would be a $500 deposit down, and I would get all of the raw photos. He would give me 15 retouched photos, and then also all of the raw video footage of the day that he would take, in addition to a five-minute edited video. So raw footage, raw video, five-minute edit video, mm -hmm. and 15 retouched photos. Yes, that's correct. Okay. For this price. Is that correct, Mr. Roller? Yes, Your Honor. All right. You did pay the $500 deposit. I did, yes. Hence why you're suing for $1,500. Yes, Is that Your correct, Honor. sir? All right. Take me to the day. You arrive at the venue. I arrive at the venue. I bring all my gear with me. Uh, she was uh, very generous and let me have a golf cart. So I unloaded all my gear onto the golf cart before I went off to make my way to greet her. And uh, so we get to the golf course and I meet her and her mother. and. Everything's very cordial, and once I begin taking pictures, I got in some not-so-friendly angles that exposed my butt crack as I was taking photos, which oh. I was unaware of. And she was, she did warn me once, I'll give her that. She, she told me what was going on, and I was very, I paid a lot of attention to make sure that my crack wasn't showing the rest of the day. But, unfortunately, some other <laughs> golfers... <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's a crack attack. Hmm. So the crack kept coming out. It mm. kept being seen. What was seen. going on with your pants? Mm. I was in a rush to get there that morning and I put on a pair of pants that I haven't worn in a while. And when I put them on, not, it wasn't until I got to the actual country club when I realized that I needed a belt. And I tried to go to the pro shop, but they didn't have any belts. That's just how it happens. The one day you need something, that's the one thing they don't have. And they don't have it, Your Honor. So no belts available. No belts. What about a couple safety pins? I don't carry safety pins around with me. Less than Gotta learn. go ask somebody. Less than so learn. you're walking around and you're trying to get into the shots because you as a photographer, you all are supposed to like... It's almost like you're ninjas. You're not supposed to be seen, but you're capturing all the moments. So you're crouching down and bending, and, and all the while your pants are coming down and exposing your butt. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. So what happens? Um, so I'm getting, I'm getting beautiful, beautiful footage, videos, photography, everything. But then the manager of the pro shop says, that other golfers, not even the group that we were with, were coming up complaining about my butt crack. Coming up, 
all of a sudden I'm seeing his butt crack all over and I'm trying to focus on my mom's 75th birthday celebration. I flew family in from all over. This is the first time we've been together in 10 years. And later. Suddenly a big box comes rolling in and I was like, oh my God, you know, someone's surprising me. Like this is amazing. Out pops out my ex-boyfriend who I blocked and said I had nothing to do with. Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to thehatperson.com. RVs are waiting for you. Starts October 6th with a 10. The great disappearance. It is vital to know. Hello, I am Chef Jose Andres. Very often without. The million dollar prize. Who is suing Dina Minden for not paying him for his photography services? Well, I'm sure the members probably had an issue with you running around being exposed all the time, especially if you were near the golf course or the dining area. Nobody wants to see that. This is a picture that was submitted into evidence as to what you had on. Hmm. You had on blue jeans and a raggedy t-shirt. Well, who's taking pictures of my butt? It was out there. Somebody that <laughs> wanted to prove that this was really happening. As you can see, this is unprofessional, right? It's also indecent. At a country club, you have to dress appropriately anyway. How long were you supposed to stay? I was supposed to be there for four hours. S but what happened? My butt crack showed. What happened, Ms. Minden? Because he just wants to say butt crack. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What happened? Yeah, so all of a sudden I'm seeing his butt crack all over, and I'm trying to focus on my mom's 75th birthday celebration. I flew family in from all over. This is the first time we've been together in 10 years. So it was, you know, and I wanted to capture the moments, and all I can focus on is this. So I went over to him and I said, hey, your, your pants keep falling down. Can you please, and nicely, I said it nicely, can you please keep your pants up? Because I, we keep seeing your butt crack, and I don't want that to be the memory at grandma's 75th birthday and he did apologize and he did say he would and he pulled up his pants and he's like I will I will do my best to keep them up you can't keep them up so what happens <sighs> well then I see him packing up all of his equipment all of a sudden I'm like well what's going on so I go over and I say hey Thomas what's going on you're why are you packing up your equipment and he says well the manager of the golf of the country club asked me to leave because he said my my attire isn't appropriate two hours into the day. And we still had nine holes of golf left to play that we didn't get captured. And grandma's birthday So cake. you all were actually on the course. We were. My son, as a golfer, he always knows what to wear and we're always dressed because it's our club. But for others, you do have to just remind, because if you don't go to country clubs, if you're not a golfer and you don't belong to this kind of stuff, it's, it's, it's foreign. You don't know yes. what to do. Of so course. you kind of say, hey, and just FYI, mm -hmm. you're going to need to have on a collared shirt and slacks, no jeans allowed, no T-shirts, no gym wear. Like there's, there's all these rules. Right. Did you remind him of that? I told him up front, this is at an upscale country club, and so there is a dress code. And then the day before, I made sure we were all set to go because this was the most important part for me for this, this party. I wanted to make sure that, that this was, you know, that we captured every moment. And, he, and I reminded him, this is upscale. I didn't necessarily say no denim, but I said, you know, it's an upscale country club. So I thought that was common sense. You know, you could just say that and somebody wouldn't wear When you use jeans. upscale. He obviously did not know. All right. Mr. Rolder, unfortunately, you were not able to perform this job in its entirety because your clothing was inappropriate. And it's unfortunate because I could think of at least three things off the top of my head right now that I would have done to make sure I got all my coins. I would have gone and mm -hmm. asked for right. some safety pins mm -hmm. and safety pinned mm -hmm. and tried to tuck my shirt in. Mm -hmm. Or I would have gone to that pro shop and when they said, we don't have any belts, I would have bought myself a collared shirt and a new pair of pants. 
you were making $2,000. If you had to spend 100 or 150 on a new outfit there, you could have changed in the dressing room in there. Yep. And then the last thing you could have done is you could have just said to her, whenever there's a break for you all to eat, you could have run your little self over to the Target or the Walmart mm -hmm. or some little store and quickly bought yourself some pants that fit. Thank you. Will you let her talk? Hold on, I'm running this court. I'm sorry. I'm running this court. Don't get mad now. Because you could have just worn what you got on in court today. You look nice. Mm. Thank you. Your Honor. So, these are the little professional lessons you learn. And most lessons, just like life lessons, professional lessons usually come when you make a mistake. And you blow it. And this time you blew your money, but you also blew your client's opportunity to capture the entire day with that beautiful footage. And you know what she's going to think about every time she looks at those 15 great pictures? Gosh, I wish he could have gotten some from the last two hours, but he got kicked out. I do believe you did some work, and therefore I believe that you are entitled to some money. You stayed there half the time. You delivered 15 photos, but only with half of the day. Therefore, you're only entitled to half your money. Your fee was $2,000, so therefore you're entitled to $1,000. You've been paid $500. Judgment for the plaintiff for $500. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant owes $500. I shouldn't have to pay you another dime. You got the biggest steal for the best photographs you could have ever got. For losing memories of my grandmother's you got, day. You didn't lose a memory. Look I at what, lost look a at lot. What you got There's a lot that. that I didn't get captured. You, didn't get, you got more than what oh, you deserve. Oh, please. Coming up.